have got a treat for your taste buds today. The Columbia Food and Wine Festival is back this year, happening April 21st. One of the best chefs in the Midlands joins us. Really the best chef in the state, as far as I'm concerned. Chef Mike Davis from Terra. Um, and you know, Chef, you are all about locally sourced products, uh, locally grown, and therefore it's fresh. And so mm -hmm. what do you love about Food and Wine Festival, getting to basically bring that to the masses in a way you don't always get to do at Terra? Well, it's a fun little festival. Um, the thing that I'm doing is the Grand Tasting on Sunday the 23rd and it has an opportunity for all the restaurants here in town to have like a little taste of something that they do that represents what they do. Um, so they come in and you can get a little bite of something to eat from all these different restaurants. There's different beverages set up, there's all these different drinks, and it's just like a, a wonderful springtime party on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, it is literally my favorite event all year in Columbia. It's definitely worth your time, so give us a little preview of what you are making today. This is something you're featuring well, at Terra right now? This is something we have on the menu right now, and it's like the, it's hyper uh, seasonal. So it's a soft shell crab, so it's just the only time of year for a couple of weeks that they are they are molting and they back out of their shell so that they can grow, so that's why it's soft. So we're just going to prep it real quick, and um, this is probably not what I'm going to be doing at the at the festival. This would be, seem very labor intensive to be getting it out but very quickly. This will give you an idea of some of the things we do at Terra. Okay, what are you doing right now? So that's that's his gills. I'm just cleaning the crab, so we have to clean it. And we cut what's called the dead man off the back, which is like his swimmer. We cut his gills out. And then we're going to take him and we're going to dredge him in a little cornmeal and flour mixture. Okay. And then How we're going easy to would this be to make at home? Well, it's just this easy. You know, you, 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 if you go and get yourself some crabs, then you just make a little dredge like that. Why do I feel like that scene from Little Mermaid? I know it's probably been a minute since you've seen Little Mermaid, but right. I, does somebody want to sing Les Poissons, <laughs> Les Poissons, hee hee hee? <laughs> okay, I'll stop before I get yelled at. But Olive oil is fine. I use canola oil, but you can use olive oil. Just don't use extra virgin. That's not good for cooking. And why is that? It's something about the heat? The heat. The heat of it. Plus, it's the first press, and it's the best flavored oil, so you don't want to mess that up. So you get a little bit of crunch in the cornmeal, but mainly just going to get the crab itself and all of the wonderful sweet meat that's inside of him. A couple of minutes on each side, and he's about done now. So what we'll do is we'll pull him off. Right now at Terra, what we're doing with them is we use a little Carolina gold rice with local asparagus grown in Manetta, spring peas, and a green garlic sauce with some toasted almonds. Gorgeous. Food and Wine Festival tickets are on sale now. You got to buy them to be able to see Chef Mike and whatever it is that he is serving up for us. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.